But you know, you'll have somebody who'll say, you, maybe you're, you're benefiting, you're benefiting from someone. Maybe you're benefiting from Mufti Mink, who I love, he's so cool. You know, last time I was here, you guys remember Peace Conference? Some of you were there. I was hanging out with Mufti Mink, and I told Mufti Mink, I, I, before I tell you this, I tell you another story. This has happened to me twice now. I was in Atlanta, Georgia. I got out of the airport. A woman, a Senegalese woman looked at me and said, Eh, Mufti Mink. And I said, uh, no. She goes, I know you Mufti Mink, you lie, you lie. I seen your videos. I was like, no, I'm not Mufti Mink. And she goes, no, no, you lie. Wallahi, you Mufti Mink. I was like, okay, okay. I took out a picture of me and Mufti Mink. I was like, that's Mufti Mink. And that's me. Oh, you just look just like him. I was like, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> and the same thing happened in Doha. Brother comes up to me, Mufti Mink, right? And I was like, mm, yes. <laughs> but my favorite one happened at Dubai airport. Brother Nomanenk? That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes. <laughs> so I was hanging out with Mufti Mink. And I said, you know Mufti, you know what we should do? I should wear your thaw and you should wear my suit. And then we should do the lecture. And we were gonna do it, but there was no time left. So next time, I'm gonna disguise myself as Mufti Mink, and he will disguise himself as me. Talk about lack of wisdom, but yeah, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. Anyhow, coming back to the subject. Somebody, some of you, raise your hand if you benefited from Mufti Mink. Raise your hand. Okay, awesome. See, see, this is why we love this man. May Allah protect this man and his family. <laughs> يرجون طول حياتهم فاغتالهم